Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. And uh, I'm going to invite some people into our devotional time. So uh, if you'll give me a few seconds to do that, and we'll get this started. And... <clears throat> morning Paula so hope you're doing well today it's Monday and uh, just enjoying the morning so today is James verse today is James 1 12 is blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because Having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life, and the Lord has promised those who love him. Man, it doesn't sound out very exciting when you start out that verse. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because. <laughs> I read that this morning. I was like, oh, great. So you get to uh, be blessed if you persevere in a trial. And then having stood the test, uh, that person will receive the crown of life the Lord has promised to those who love him the very fact is the the end result is you love him you commit to him you you stay strong to him even during the 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 trial that you're going through I just finished a series in church that uh, uh, the concept came from a book by Greg Rochelle, Craig Rochelle, uh, called Hope in the Dark, and uh, all dealing with uh, a guy named Habakkuk from the book of Habakkuk, and uh, how at the beginning of his his time he was going through a dark time, and he was like, "God, God, where are you? Why have you left me? Where?" And he just started whining. I don't know. Maybe you've gone through stuff like that. It's like okay man god you've kind of left me here you kind of put me in this dark place or you blame god for putting you in that dark place and maybe he didn't put you there at all maybe it's whatever happening in your life at that moment that it just happened and it's kind of like life and but we blame god and he can handle that but then yesterday we talked about how um that light at the end of the tunnel we kept trusting God through the whole thing. At the light at the end of the tunnel, we look back and it says, Oh God, you, you've you made us stronger. You've brought us through. And I didn't lose faith in you, even though I've asked you, where were you that whole time? It always makes me reference back to that old poem that was a footprints poem where there's two sets of footprints and then there's one. And at that moment, there's only one is that he was carrying you. I just think, man, when that time is that when those circumstances come in our lives those trials you know at the beginning of this passage that we're talking in james it says blessed are those who persevere great trials we go through trials we go through hard situations and circumstances in our lives that we may not understand why are we going through these why um uh, do we have to go through those well, Job went through a whole lot of trials and tribulations and to the point where his friend says she should just die, you know. what? I kept on asking him, what did you do to God that he was so angry with you? To the point where his wife says, why don't you just curse God and die? And then he went through all that at the very end. Uh, at the end of the book, it was like God blessed him. Um, so we, we find a lot of interesting uh, hope in the dark situations where they persevered through trial they didn't lose hope in God but they got through and they were blessed so maybe the examples are there that if we persevere through trials we continue to love God um, we'll be blessed I mean the examples are there and so I think about it um, it's good example, good testimonies. If you need a testimony to believe in, testimony to um, 
examples. So here's a verse today. James 1.12. It says, Blessed is the one who pers perseveres under trials because having stood the test of time, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. Well, we're going to pray. We have two unspokens. And uh, third one is Abby. We're going to pray for her today. And uh, sorry. <sighs> and then we're just going to believe. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for the unspoken. Lord God, whatever they may be, Lord, ever we're dealing with, I pray that, Lord, that you move, that you encourage that lord that you minister to those needs lord whether it's financial whether it's health lord that you just move lord i pray lord for abby and the group of teens group of people that she's working with over in panama that lord that they'll do great exploits for you lord that lord that you that you'll bring in the harvest that Lord that things will happen Lord God I pray for those who are watching now and those who watch later I pray that you encourage them help them to grow in you and help them to understand that things are going to happen help us to stay true to you and Lord God help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with Lord we thank you in your name amen well have a great day love you guys be blessed we'll talk to you tomorrow morning have a great day We'll see you tomorrow.